today we're going to be doing a tour of a park near our house. It is the Japanese Memorial. Mommy, are you ready? I am ready. So we actually walked here from home. So here is the boardwalk. It's really quick. There's some nice salmon berries on the side. There's a nice bench. And then here is the, um, a place where, like, you can see their journey. So, here we have Coming to America. Um, so here are some pictures. This is, like, a place where you can read about where they are. And here's a wire. There's some more bushes over there. There's Liam running around. Alana, why is this so, here? So, during World War II, the, the Japanese Americans were forced to leave um, Bainbridge Island. Mm -hmm, their homes. And so they got immigrated to some camps that were really bad. Did they want to be there? They did not want to be there. In over there is actually some of their names, I think. Oh, should we go and see their tags? Yeah, so they had so to wear tags? Yeah, so this, they had to wear tags with their number on it. Mm -hmm. And they went to camps, huh? Why did they do that? They did that because... Um, were people happy they were here? Would they feel scared people, that they were here? People felt scared that, they, that the Japanese Americans were here. And so, um, they made them wear tags to show what they were. And they took them to camps, huh? And they took them to different camps across the state. What happened after the war? What happened after the war was, um, they got moved back to their home. Mm hmm Which is here, where we are right now. Uh, and so... Now there's a really nice little memorial here in celebration and yeah. celebratory for them. And why is this memorial here in Eagle Harbor? It's here in Eagle Harbor because this is where their home was. Well, their home was here, but then also, what did they have to take to go to they these different camps? They had the ferry, which, is, which was on the docks down there. Mm -hmm. um, and so they took a boardwalk all the way down. Yeah, should we go down the boardwalk? Should we go down the boardwalk? Mm -hmm. March 30th, 1942. And here, what are these? who are these people? These are the Japanese Americans. And these ones were the ones that lived on Bainbridge Island and were taken from Bainbridge Island. And a lot of them went to a camp in California and in Idaho. And they didn't know when they were going to come back, huh? There's a picture of them waiting for the ferry. And you met her, didn't you? Mm -hmm. And there's the ferry with all the guards watching them go. So here's part of the memorial. And it says, let it not happen again. Here's the fountain. Well, it was the fountain. It was. Well, it was a fountain. I'm not sure what that was. Me neither. I think it's just and So a here's the path. Ooh, Alana, what are these? These are like, um, what their tag said. Oh, well, these are the names of all the people, huh? And their ages yeah. when they left. And then a lot of people, they make um, origami and put tributes here for these people. And a Can lot I of these people came something? back. Liam, no tricks right now. Mm. Do you want to talk about this picture, Liam? I came to Bainbridge Island in 1908. Bainbridge was a good place to raise a family. Oh, and Liam, what's it look like his tree. job is? Garden. Yeah, he was a gardener. He was a farmer. Good job. Nishika. Yeah. His name was Nishika. Here's more names. And some of these were all the one years old, 77 years old, 82 years old. Here it says, I was born and raised on Bainbridge. I am a 100% American citizen. I will protect our flag in the United States. Nine months. Just a week before we leave, Coach Pop Miller put on, on six Japanese Americans. Despite errors and not hitting, he let us play the whole game. We lost 15 to 2. And then there's a 
and there, there's one that's nine, nine months. Nine months. Two years. Five years. Ten years. Eight years. Six years. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when you met some of these? Lily? You met Lily. Yeah, I met Lily. Yeah, here's Lily's name. I well, met look at my mm -hmm. She was only seven when she left, though. Yeah, and her saw sister. But, oh, I never one. found, like, I found her, like, in a crack. Can you like, put it back, though? Because that's made for the, and then there. the sacrifices here. Put it back somewhere nice. There you go. Yes. Perfect, Liam. Actually, more name. And then more names. Come, come oh, and here's see. another mural. Come see. I think that's Lily. Mom, come see. Ma no. I see it. I see it. That's a good Lily. place for it. I had to open up the One of, Are those those tags you were talking about? Yeah, this is a tag that they have to wear. Mm -hmm. And it says, I felt like a second class citizen to be headed on the boat by soldiers with bayonets. It was the most humiliating experience of my life. Liam, jump down. We were really careful. We were not prisoners, and they had guns with spears. And more names. More names. I want to go and down to the beach names. and show them how we climb a wall. No. Anyway. More names. More oh, I know. Here's a mural with them at their camp. It says, the searchlight played on our windows back and forth all night. I couldn't sleep. Back at home, graduate uh, back back home at graduation, they had 13 empty chairs on stage. That day, I felt so empty and sad. I sat in my bunk and cried. So that's what the camps look like. Do you remember that story that they said that they told you about camps when she was a little girl? What did she do? She um. What game did they play? They played like. Oh. Uh, Do you remember? They played hide. Hide and seek. Yeah, they played hide and seek, and that way, when their parents told them to go and hide, they always know all the good hiding Wait. spots, huh? I've seen that picture before, not here, somewhere else. Yeah, that's a pretty famous picture. That's also in the art museum on the island, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, with the barbed wire up and everything. Mm hmm. But they um, de sharpened that barbed wire. Yeah, it's safe now. It's safe. That, I think that might. There is still like the barbed wire up at the at the camps too because but like not a full way around, like just a sand post or two, I think. There probably is something at the camps memorializing what happened. Huh? Like maybe like some barbed wire or maybe. that's that sharpened but it's still really rusty. Yeah. Because... Yeah. On the morning of March thirtieth, nineteen forty two, two hundred and twenty seven Bainbridge Island men, women and children most of them United States citizens were escorted by armed soldiers in the Eagle Delaware Ferry Landing, where we are now. They solemnly boarded the ferry and departed on a lone journey with unknown destination and fate. They were exiled by President, uh, Presidential Executive Order 9066 and Civilian ex, ex, Exclusion Order Number 1 because they were Nikki person of Japanese ancestry. With only six days notice, they were notified. They were forced to hastily sell, store, or make arrangements for all their possessions, businesses, and property. They were allowed to take only what they could carry and wear. They were the first of more than 120,000 Japanese Americans to be forcibly removed from their homes and experience three years of unconstitutional incarceration. They were, um, not all were interned, some were drafted to the military, some were unjustly imprisoned, and some were moved away, but all were forbidden to remain. We dedicate this site to honor those who suffered and to cherish their friendships and community who stood by them and welcomed them home. May the spirit of the memorial inspire each of us to safeguard constitutional rights for all. Let it not happen again. Nato nai yoni. Let it not happen again. And then, here's the last mural. I was kind of afraid that the neighbor, um, that the neighbor girl I used to play with came up and welcomed me. We put the farm under Mr. Raber's care until we were gone. When we came back, he returned the farm to us. My father and his brother worked so hard to build up Bainbridge Gardens. When we returned, there was nothing left. It must have broken him. So some of these people, they left their homes and their businesses in care of their friends. And when they came back, what did their friends do? 
They returned it to them. They, except for the image of our gardens, which got destroyed. But then they helped. They helped put it back up. Yeah, they helped rebuild it for him because he's an important part of our community. And here's the water. Yeah, that's where the ferry was. Yeah. Down the boardwalk. You know what our mood goes, I think. No, not anymore. Okay, come here. I want to talk to you guys. Here, Liam. As we've been looking at the Japanese memorial, it made me think about what's happening right now with um, African Americans. Hey, and how, you know how fairies how used to come here? To leave their Why do I see fairies? Mm, there's no fairies here. Listen, listen. This makes me think of um, the African Americans and the fight that they're having right now. And they're saying that a lot of people um, are racist against them because of their skin color and their nationality and their heritage. What do you? How do you? How does that make you think? Just looking at the Japanese memorial and we took all these Japanese Americans and we took them and we put them in camps because they were Japanese. What can you relate to that? Just about that the African Americans from right different now? Different country and because they're different skin color doesn't mean they're not people and doesn't mean that like you can't underestimate them. Yeah, well, you, you can't can, underestimate them. But should you, you shouldn't. should you be scared? You no. should no, Should you be scared of them? No. Mm -hmm. I know a person that's a black person. Oh. Like, it's okay. Yeah, he's still a good person, like, huh? Yeah. Yeah. What does it make you think of when you think about what happened to these Japanese Americans and um, what the African Americans are fighting for right now? I feel like um, it's kind of almost like the same thing, except that I don't, I don't know if they had rallies back then, but I don't think they did. Any. Probably. Some people were probably standing up. Yeah. Saying it's not right to take these citizens away from their home. Yeah. Yeah. And it was all driven by fear. Huh. Even though they had nothing. They had nothing. In, they have, they have every, like, um, I mean, they're not scary. They're not anything. Like, no. And they, I mean, they are people, but right. and like, they're not scary. They're not. A lot of the marches we're having right now is because they want equal rights and equal justice. Yeah. Huh? Like, and, and they should have that. They should. Okay. It's kind of interesting to see how it plays out through history, huh? And we just looked yeah. something with Japanese Americans and... Right now, we're experiencing um, the Black Americans trying to find their place and their voice. You mean African? African Americans mm. or Black Americans? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pretty neat. Yeah. Mm. I made this. 